We're in Michael's kitchen and we're making some rhubarb and strawberries for Patrick. He's going to show it to his mum and maybe she will make it for him too. Now, I've had this for a couple of days. It normally stands up nice and straight, but we're a little limp today. The important thing we do with the rhubarb is that we get the strings off it. And I'll show you how simple it is to do that. I cut this bottom piece, which is a bit hard. We cut that off, and then we just pull it down like this. And you see the string comes with it. Then we do a couple of cuts, but not all the way through, you notice. And again, we pull the string, and we're left with lovely fruit without any of this stringy business. Okay. So I do it down this side, and then one more cut, and you'll see we nearly get all of that off the fruit. Just put it into the pot. Okay, now I've got one more piece to do here, doing the same thing with it. Once you get into it, it goes very quickly. And of course, I've added strawberries for sweetness. I just top the strawberries slow, and cut them in half. Okay, now you can see that I have a wonderful pot, one bunch of rhubarb and one punnet of strawberries. It's going to require very little liquid because this makes its own juice if we cook it very slowly. So what I will do is add a little lemon juice and also, for flavour, a little of the lemon rind. I think I'll just use half a lemon. Like this. Don't worry about the seeds. They'll be red and they will be seen very easily when it is cooked. But what I do then is to... I like to cut the lemon peel in small pieces. Not We don't want the white, just the, the yellow. And I will do all of this and that goes in with the, adds a lovely flavour. Rhubarb needs a little sugar, it's bitter by nature. So I'm just putting a loosely packed cup of brown sugar. Okay, and I like a little spice. Some people use cloves. But these days I prefer to use something that I got used to in India, cardamom. But that would be enough to give it a flavour. And then I just bring that to the stove Turn it on the lowest heat and put the lid on it and within 10 or 15 minutes, make sure it's slow. You may want to put uh, that much water in it as well. I think I'll do that because I'd hate them to burn. But that's all. And you'll find that you've got great stewed rhubarb. This is my pot top. Mickey, what was the spice you put in it again? Can you just hold it up to the camera because you were too fast with that? I used cardamom. It's a spice I got used to in India. It's not focusing. But don't put too much in. Okay. You'll enjoy that. After it's cooked, 10-15 minutes at a low heat. Make sure it's moist and mushy, not too mushy, and just leave it sit there and then you can serve it with some ice cream or some custard or some whipped cream or some yogurt. Why thank you Maggie. <laughs>